What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Today we're looking at misconceptions of textured material that you might have heard throughout the industry. I've got a couple inch and a half mechanical seam mock-ups here uh, with some different types of textured paint. I've got seaming tools. We're gonna be running a variety of tests uh, to learn something about those myths and misconceptions. Let's get into it. There's all kinds of assumptions and misconceptions about textured material, and we're gonna discuss everything from paint cracking to scratching. First off, one thing we've heard is that contractors are afraid the textured paint will crack when it's being bent or seamed. So to test that, I built a couple mock-ups with inch and a half mechanical seam panels. One with the Sheffield Metals Corline textured low gloss coating in black. It's 24 gauge steel. The other is a textured SMP coating, also in black, but it's a 26 gauge steel. If you wanna know the difference between SMP and PVDF, check out the video link below. I'm gonna test out hand seaming and using a robotic seamer to a 180 degree seam. We've got a probe lens fitted to our camera so we can examine the seams for any cracking in an extreme close up. Let's start with the Coraline TLG PVDF in 24 gauge. Here's what the seam looks like before. And now let's start the seaming process. After both the hand seaming and the automatic seaming, the bends look great. I don't see any cracking or deformation of the paint, and if I run my finger or a pencil along the seam, there's no flaking or release of particulate from the coating. Let's do the same to the textured SMP in 26 gauge steel. Again, here's the before shot. Next we'll work on some bends. I'm seeing similar results here. On the 26 gauge, there's no cracking or flaking of the SMP paint and the texture is remaining intact and beautiful. I think a key here is that if your paint is cracking, it has more to do with the type of paint system you're using and who is supplying the paint. It's not because it's textured, it's because that isn't a good paint system or the application was poor. When it comes to assumptions and misconceptions about textured material, we've also heard that you shouldn't use a light color because textured coating tends to hold more dirt than a smooth surface would. I think a big consideration here is that it heavily depends on the amount of texture. If we look at Sheffield's textured PVDF or a common textured SMP coating, the amount of texture and grit is less than say an embossed panel. Here's a side-by-side -side of Sheffield Metals Coraline and a textured SMP. You can see the amount of grit is like a very fine sand. Another misconception is that there's only textured paint available in SMP, which is often painted on 26 gauge steel exclusively. This would limit the available engineering for panels and also imply a lower cost product. But as we've already seen, Sheffield Metals offers a textured PVDF for 24 gauge steel known as Coraline, so there's now other options out there. The next assumption is that textured material improves walkability, and we've even mentioned this before on the channel. It's important to understand that there's no documentation proving that, and while it sometimes may be the case, it may not always be the case. Never assume, always play it safe. And of course, always follow all safety regulations and guidelines when it comes to working at height. Lastly, we've also heard that textured paint scratches easier than other coating systems. This is typically seen with textured SMP paints on 26 gauge steel, but if we're looking at Coraline textured PVDF, that paint system is formulated as a hard coat, which means it's chemically designed to be more scratch resistant. Colloquially, contractors have been surprised with how little Coraline scratches compared to other textured paint. If there's other questions, assumptions, or misconceptions you've heard about textured materials, let us know in the comments. I've also included a link to a free Coraline versus textured SMP comparison guide in the description if you want even more info. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.